Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk meaningless predictions here, Brig. Okay. So real quick recapping, because I like I said, I found my paper that had my notes on it yes. from our meaningless predictions at the beginning of the season. I had the Yankees winning the whole thing. Yep. Um, winning the division, winning the World Series. Um, that looks pretty good so far. Yeah. But I did have the Blue Jays going, uh, winning the wild card or being a wild card team out of the East. So I don't know how that's going to go because I feel like the Blue Jays are kind of a dumpster fire right now. They did fire their manager last week in yeah. a surprise move. Surprise me. Shocking. So there's that. And then I also had <laughs> a terrible pick. I had the Tigers winning the Central. That was a bad idea. Wow. Um, because th- this is the thing. They finished the season strong last year. So I was like, okay, they'll carry it over. They did not. They just optioned Torkelson today. Sent they him down did? To- they sent him down to the minors to work on oh. him because he's not been good. Um, I didn't have the Tigers or I didn't have the White Sox winning the division. I had them as a wild card team. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but then you, I've also got the Dodgers winning the NL West. Oh, I had I had the Astros winning the AL West. And then the Mariners making a wild card spot, and that seems to be holding up so far. But I had the Dodgers winning the NL West, the Padres as a wild card team, had Milwaukee winning the Central with St. Louis as a wild card team, and then the Phillies winning the East. And oh, and San Francisco is another wild card team. Not too bad. I mean, it could still happen. I don't think it's going to. Yeah. Because the Mets are not going to met the bed this year. That's not going to happen. But they're not. I keep saying that. Yeah. So I don't. I'd have to. I'd have to amend the Phillies for the Mets in the East. Who do you have in the NL East? Break the Mets still. Yeah. Yeah. You've been riding that every week, of course. Then you've got the Yankees, obviously winning the AL East. Yep. That's. That would be a monumental collapse if that happened. Oh, dude. It, historic. Dude. Literally historic of epic is, proportions. Oh, man. Dude, I don't even want to think about that. Like, that makes me so <laughs> uncomfortable. Just Get the prospect queasy. of that collapse makes me Feel so like right deeply. Here. Mm-mm. All the bile, bros. <laughs> and the tears all at the same time. I don't yeah. know which was winning, but they're competing. Yeah. <laughs> um, the central is going to be the twins. The twins, yeah. I think, are the biggest surprise so far this season. Agreed. We, out of nowhere. I mean, it, it seemed like Carlos Correa went there strictly for the money. I think we talk about, about that all the time, too. That was a surprise yeah. there. And then how good they've been has been amazing. So, I Jason, think I real had quick. The White Sox oh, picked in the central. I, a lot of people did. A lot of people did. Yeah. Um, Jason jumped in real quick on the Phillies. He said the Phillies will have to get in as the third wild card, but the Braves are two and a half back in the Mets, so don't count the Braves out. The Braves have been hot, hot as anybody just about recently. They found their stride, and they very well could catch the Mets if the Mets have any trouble down the stretch. That's true. That is a thing that could happen. That's true. And the injury bug is beating them up right now in New York. So Yeah. And then in the West, are we still feeling like Astros have it on lock? So here's the thing, Brig. I gotta tell you about this. Tell so me. I was looking at I was looking at some stuff today, trying to figure out because the Mariners sit nine back of the Astros. Okay. They've won the Mariners have won 14 in a row going into the All Star break, <clears throat> and um, and they're still nine back. They've only gained four games, but if things continue to go at the pace that they're going at, I'm not saying the Mariners are going to go undefeated through August. I'm not saying that the Astros are going to win four out of every six, but or four out of every, sorry, are only going to win four out of every 10. But if these two teams continue to play at the pace that they've been the last month, the Mariners could be playing to catch the Astros Labor Day weekend. It's true. Which is astonishing entirely. I think even you're surprised. Are you not? Oh, I'm so surprised because I was looking, yeah. I was going through, I was like, is there any chance that they have to catch them? And they could very well catch them Labor Day weekend. They'd have a chance to. I don't know if they necessarily will. Um, but looking at – and the thing that's crazy too is the way that the Astros play is they're all or nothing. They're relying so much on the home run right now. They, they don't are. get guys on base. They don't draw walks. They yeah. don't strike out, but they don't they don't walk. They don't get hits nearly as much as anybody else does. It's crazy. It's, it it's amazing that they're winning relying on the home run as much as they do. 